All right, so today I'm gonna to be comparing these two amazing Godzilla figures. Right here, we've got the X Plus Super Toho 30 centimeter series Godzilla 2000. And this one was created by scanning one of the actual Godzilla 2000 suits. I got it from the Japan Godzilla store for a bit over $300, you know, once you include shipping. And then over here, we've got the W Dragon Godzilla 2000. And I bought this one from an eBay seller, paid a bit over 300 also. So I paid about the same amount for each of these and they are both just amazing. I love them both. But there are also a few things I don't love so much about each of them. So I'll be going over that in this video. But first, let's talk about the boxes. So the x -Plus Godzilla comes in the usual kind of x -Plus box. It's got the little flap to open up and then Godzilla's packaged in there in the plastic and yeah I just love the artwork on the front of this box it's by Noriyoshi Orai who's done some you know he did some amazing Godzilla art and you know a whole bunch of other great stuff too but yeah I just love that love that artwork there and then the box for the W Dragon has got pictures of the actual figure on it and yeah that's a great box too it's bigger a lot taller and he's packaged differently. He's packaged in foam in there, which always makes it feel like kind of a more premium product when it's packaged, you know, in foam like that. His tail is actually a magnet, unlike the X Plus Godzilla tail. That one is, you know, the usual type of X Plus tail where you gotta heat up Godzilla, then stick the tail in there, which can be a bit of, you know, just a little annoying sometimes, but you know, usually you only do it once, so not that big of a deal but say you wanted to display him you know without the tail because they take up so much space like depth wise and sometimes you know to either side it can take up a lot of space so sometimes you might want to or have to display them you know without the tail depending on the type of space you have and with the x plus if you took the tail off you'd have to heat that up again It'd be pretty annoying to get it out i'd be worried about like tearing the vinyl so I try not to take it off ever if I don't have to, but you know, say you took it off again or never put it on in the first place. This is right, this is the portion where the tail goes in. So you can see that's not touching the floor if you take the tail out. So he's not gonna stand up too well. He does stand up without it though. He can, but he could tip backwards pretty easily. So if you wanted to display him like that you would you know just lean him against something another Godzilla you know the wall whatever and you know he could stand fine like that but the W Dragon just does it much better look at this so his tail connects much lower so you get a lot more of those spines on there yeah this is him right now without the back half of the tail and he's very stable because the tail is making contact with the floor right here you can see so you could have him like this really easily just hide him behind another Godzilla and it looks like that tail is just continuing on back there so I just love that about it plus this look at this his tail yeah it's a magnet so just so easily and simply goes in like that and it looks great so you want him with the tail just like this and look at that now that now that the tail's on I'm having trouble fitting him back there he can go like that but I cannot get him at that same angle so it really opens up more possibilities just by having that option that magnetic tail and having the tail actually make contact with the floor when it's not connected you could get them into different spaces like this so yeah the tail on the w dragon is definitely definitely a point for that one love the tail on the w dragon at least the you know the way that they chose to have it connect i hope x plus changes in the future but I doubt it. I think x -Plus will always be like this. And also, let's talk about the weight of them. So the x -Plus, you know, x -Pluses are hollow for the most part. Most of them are always hollow like this. So it's going to be pretty light, pretty easy to pick up. I mean, they're both easy to pick up, but this one has some heft to it. It's got some weight to it. The W Dragon makes it feel, yeah, it feels great like that. I think this one weighs about three pounds. I'll put the weights and and the measurements in the description but yeah I like the foam packaging this comes in plus the weight of it the the tail it's just yeah feels like a real premium figure I can't wait to see even more Godzilla stuff from W Dragon 
And yeah, let's see. Let's look at the poses. So yeah, I've got these two little Bandai Godzillas here. Let me put them off to the side. So, you know, I think I'm actually going to take... No, I better leave that tail on. We want to get... So almost knocked down. I'll take it off. Except for when I need it. All right, so we've got them facing each other now. And we can see the x Pest Godzilla is taller than the W Dragon. He's standing a lot more upright. We've got the W Dragon over here kind of hunched over as he's taking that step. I just love the pose of this one and the X plus one. I like that pose too. You know, they're not really trying to be the same thing. These are very, very different figures. This one is a scan of the actual suit. That's the point of this figure. It's supposed to be a replica of Godzilla 2000 suit. It's not supposed to be in some, you know, dynamic pose like this one. So I feel like I can't really fault this one for having this type of pose. I mean, I love it. I love that it looks like a Godzilla suit because that's what it is. But yeah, so the heights of them, yeah, the W Dragon is hunched over more. But look at that. I think he might actually be taller if we look at the, this back spine seems to be just about the same height as this this one top spine on the X plus one. So yeah, here they are. Let's look more at the poses. Just So here's the front. And I really love the, the W dragon from the front. It's so, you know, such like a powerful looking pose. I love his whole chest and shoulder area. It looks really thick and meaty and powerful. Just, I love the pose on this W dragon. And look at that face. I love how his mouth is open. You can see that crazy detail on the tongue, which I do think the W dragon did better than the X plus, even though the X plus, you know, they scan the actual tongue, like they scan the mouth and tongue separately. Yeah, for some reason, this W Dragon tongue looks much closer to the actual tongue than the X plus tongue, at least for me. Some of that could be due to the paint job, but just the overall shape of it too, this one's got, got much more detail in it. If you look at like the picture on the front of that Godzilla book I've got, this does look closer to me, so. W Dragon definitely wins in the tongue area. As for like the roof of the mouth, also an amazing amount of detail there on the W Dragon. It kind of looks like the top of a crocodile mouth or something like that. And yeah, I just love how it's so wet looking and they put those little, you know, darker spots there. You can really see where each tooth is coming out of the gums. Just amazing thing. But I actually like the roof of the... X Pest Godzilla better. It's like really soft and tissuey looking. I just really like that look better because you know that's how it actually looks because it's scanned from the actual mouth. So it's got to be more accurate, but it's not like this one looks bad. That's amazingly detailed. That's just my, you know, my personal preference. I like the, you know, the inside of the mouth better on the X Plus, but the tongue better on the W Dragon. Yeah, they seem to be about the same scale, you know, the same size. Like if we compare the hands and arms, looks to be very similar thickness. I almost feel like the W Dragon was a little bigger. Like he does look a little bit bulkier here on the arm, but that could just be, you know, due to the way they sculpted him. You know, I put the feet, put the feet against each other. They look to be about the same size, though the W Dragon's toes maybe do stick out a bit further. So he might be very, slightly bigger not like these are expected to be you know identical but i think they are close enough in overall proportions that they're generally basically the same the same scale and now let's talk about the paint jobs on the body so it's very clear looking at these together they have you know they're very differently colored the dorsal plates on the x plus are like more of a deeper reddish magenta type of color while the W Dragon has more of like a purplish, lavender, kind of metallic looking. And yeah, the whole body, the X Plus is, you know, very green looking. I love it so green. While the W Dragon is more of like a, I don't know, more of like a bluish teal color to it. It's got all those little highlights on it also, but not quite as apparent as that green covering the whole X Plus body. But you can see this has a similar thing going on where you can see the little spikes on the side of his, on the back of his body right here. have got that little coloring on them. Then if you look really close at him, it's like really subtle, but you can see that coloring kind of 
distributed all throughout the body and it gives it a really nice look like it looks beautiful i love it i love both of these i'm not sure if i could really pick a favorite you know they're kind of two different looks i love the green look i also love this like really smooth and clean look but if we're talking about just overall quality i do feel like the w dragon looks like a more high quality paint job it just it's nicer to look at for me and look right here we can see this one spike on his head is colored purple while on the x plus there's no color there at all on that spike and i was looking at my book that has the you know the godzilla 2000 suit and it's not colored there either, but I looked at some pictures of the Mega Garrus Godzilla 2000. They have a book for that too, which I don't have yet, but they show the suit and it's got that little purple color on this spike. So I'm assuming that's just a difference between the suits and the movies. The Mega Garrus one has the little purple on the top spike here. And there's some more differences. Like, let's look at the tail here. Actually, let's talk about the spines first. So the W Dragon is just, you know, a sculpted product, not scanned. So look at those spines. They're so evenly spaced. I really like how they're so, you know, symmetrical, straight, and it really creates a really nice look. It looks so amazing looking down the spines like that. And especially if you look like straight at them with that, looking at his face and then the spines behind them, they just look really, really amazing. I love them. Whereas on the X Plus, they're kind of all over the place, you know, because it's scanned from the suit. They're laying at different angles, kind of not lined up so perfectly, more of an organic feel and look. I feel over the whole, you know, the whole X Plus Godzilla 2000 has like a more organic look all over it. And of course, that's because it's scanned from an actual suit. So you're going to see all those little things about it, like the spines being more so leaning to one side and then there's maybe a spine hiding behind another one down here and I don't think that's a negative I think that's just that's what the suit looks like and I love it it captures it really captures what the suit looked like in the moment they scanned it and then also right here it's got this little gap which helps the tail to move more easily you know when the suit actors in there it needed that gap there for the mobility of the tail is what Shinichi Wakasa mentioned in the Godzilla channel video that talks about the making of this figure. So I just love all those little details that were captured by the scan like this and then just all the unique placements of the spines really makes it look like a real suit, which it is. And yeah, the W Dragon does not have that little gap there, which is great also. I can appreciate both of these things. You know, I love the copy of the suit and I also love the W Dragon where everything's so refined and smooth. Another difference here is if you count down the outer rows of Godzilla spines, let's see on the X Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then after the ninth one on the outer row it just gets very low, gets very small. You can only really see the middle one going all the way down the rest of the tail but on the W Dragon we've got 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they added two extra ones, I guess, for the W Dragon. And this was scanned from the actual thing, so that means this is more accurate, and this should have nine. As for the detail on these Godzilla's bodies, looking at the legs, we can see the X Plus leg like has really nice deep grooves in there. The detail looks really crisp. So does the tail. Really the whole X Plus body and the W Dragon has an amazing amount of detail also, but if you've got them side by side like this, you can see that the X Plus leg just, it's got more in it. More detail, more little lumpiness, more, more depth in those grooves. And also I just noticed that the lower calf portion of the legs are taller on the W Dragon, like they're bulkier and taller. You can see that kneecap is a bit higher because of that, and overall I think the W Dragon is just a bulkier figure like yeah that's definitely taller and then just you know the arm here this arm has more bulk on it right here on the shoulder and let's look at the chest now the torso of Godzilla so on the X plus one it's kind of blocky squarish shaped kind of flat while on the W Dragon it's kind of more of a cylinder shape and he's got a lot more bulk there on his chest which 
I really do like that look. But yeah, overall the W Dragon I think is a little bit bigger. Like if he was standing upright, I think he'd be a little taller than the X Plus. And now for the eyes. So here are the eyes on the X Plus Godzilla 2000 and they look really nice. Like they did a great job making them look like they're really round balls in there with that clear outer layer and then the colors inside. And maybe they are actually full balls in there, I don't know, but they don't really quite match what I see when I look in these pictures in these Godzilla books where you can see like half of the eye, some of it's covered by that brow ridge there, but when I look at the x Plus figure, he just looks like he's terrified, like looking like straight into the eyes like this. So yeah, it just doesn't give me that Godzilla 2000 look that I love so much when I look at this figure. But when you look like down at him like this, they do look really pretty amazing. Or straight on looks pretty nice also. But yeah, I don't know, for whatever reason, it just doesn't quite do it for me. Now on the W Dragon, these aren't made in that way. You know, there's not like a clear layer. They didn't try to make it like the real actual eyes it's just like a decal on there and you know i love it i actually like that more than the x plus even though you know the x plus is technically more accurate when i look at the w dragon it gives me that look i want from just about every angle the side i really get that godzilla 2000 look even from like the back looking down at him looks great the front too and yeah, the eyes are really the essence of Godzilla 2000, at least for me. So I do enjoy looking at the W Dragon better, but the teeth, let's go on to the teeth and claws now. So here we've got the feet side by side and we can see a huge difference in coloring on the claws here. So on the W Dragon, it's got a huge amount of that dark, rich brown on there coming pretty far out from the root of the nail and then on the X Plus, it's a lot more of that bone color showing, a lot more of a subtle paint job. You can see little blotches of a lighter brown, some grays in there, which I feel matches the actual suit a lot more than the W Dragon. And maybe the W Dragon wasn't going for complete accuracy. I guess they were just doing their own thing with the claws here. But yeah, I do love all those streaks. And then you can really see the deep grooves in the claws here, which you can't really see on the X Plus, even though it was actually scanned from the actual suit, which does have those visible grooves in it like that. But yeah, I really definitely prefer the coloring on the X Plus here. Now moving on up to the hands, we can see the X Plus has a similar paint job to the toenails. Got that little light brown blotchiness in there while still showing a lot of that white bone color underneath and then same thing as the toenails on the w dragon the claws on the hands have a lot of that dark rich brown coming out from them showing those little streaks which actually do look pretty close to the real thing like looking at a lot of these pictures we can see it's got a very similar pattern to these though i still feel that it's too rich of a brown like i think it should be more dull and kind of blending in more with the finger but yeah the fingernails on these are actually pretty nice and now for the teeth so on the top row of teeth we can see w dragon went pretty heavy with that dark brown coloring again and compared to the x plus here we can see the x plus teeth are very white though they do have some like little dirty blotchy coloring in them which i think looks pretty nice and depending on the picture or scene that you're looking at, the teeth could kind of look like either of these Godzillas. Like, there's this one shot from Godzilla vs. Megagir, so they look very brown like the W Dragon. Then if you look at this one picture from Godzilla 2000, they look more white like the X Plus. And then the bottom row here just looks really nice. I love the paint job on the bottom row of teeth on the W Dragon. And they're very, like, symmetrical, like both sides of the bottom rows of teeth if you look on either side they're like exactly placed the same the exact same amount of teeth whereas if you look at the x plus they're kind of more randomly placed they don't line up perfectly on either side of the bottom jaw and on the bottom right side he's actually got 12 teeth there and on the left side he's got 13 the w dragon has 13 teeth on both sides since it's just like perfectly symmetrical and mirrored and that doesn't really bother me but yeah the x plus was scanned from the suit so that's the more accurate one 
and I do prefer the teeth and claws on the X plus one, but if I had to choose just one of these figures to keep, it would have to be the W Dragon because I just enjoy looking at it more. I love those metallic purple dorsal plates, the pose, the thickness of the chest, and especially those eyes and face. Just an amazing thing here. Let me know in the comments which of these two you prefer.